Hey guys, Mr. Rupik here, back with another Minecraft Pocket Edition video, and today, I have an awesome map review for you guys. I've not actually done one of these in quite a while, I've been doing lots of redstone alternatives and cool little building things, which are really fun, but I thought I would get back into the map review and show you guys this really, really sweet map, map made by the uh, Team Elite Builders for Pocket Edition. They're an awesome group, and I believe they've done some really cool past maps so you can already expect some really really good things out of this one but anyway it's sky pvp and actually with the download it comes with four separate maps so as you can see this says planes sky pvp dash planes if i hop out of here really quickly there's actually a desert one which is like completely they're all the exact same style they're all the exact same map but the uh it's like mixed up like the blocks are deserty looking and if we hop over to uh let's see we'll go to another one it's there's fire and everything and it looks it looks so nice the themes are awesome and oops let me hop back here to let's see the snowy one we'll, we'll, yeah there's, there's ice and i think this might actually be a bit of a challenge uh they added may or may not have added the actual things to those yeah so there's actually ice down there on the little uh islands so that's really sweet as well but we're just going to stick to the good old uh, planes today because I like this look the best anyway the rules are don't cheat or hack don't break the rules don't craft or use a bed don't drop on your island until everybody's ready don't drop down again after you've died don't troll and play fair so this is actually a four player map I believe you can play with anywhere from two to four and since it's just gonna be me today obviously there's not gonna be any multiplayer gameplay it's just going to be me running through it so here's down or down here is the spectator lobby so once you've died you can actually go down to this and you're basically hovering right over the main land you can actually kind of see the entire map here uh, for all the four players to drop down into and then once they collect enough resources they basically build themselves to this middle one here so let's go and back up there's a couple more things I'd like to read and then we can really get into it so here is the gameplay board Go to your drop down over the pathway. Wait until everybody is ready for the drop down. If everybody is ready, drop down after you've dropped. And oh, you have to play normal survival on an island. At the middle, you can find a chest with four diamonds, which you can loot slash break on your island. Comma, you won't find any diamonds. The middle island is designed for PvP fights, so head over there and or go ahead and fight on there. The goal is to be the last man standing. So that's really cool. Uh, here are some of the credits. There's all these builders and everything. Take a screenshot if you want to go check these guys out on Twitter. There's a lot of them, so I'm not going to read through them all. But take a screenshot real quick, and you can go check them out. So this is where... Let me let me find player one here. Where are you, where are you now? Okay, player one must be right here. We're just going to walk on down and drop down as if we were going to be playing multiplayer. And I'm not sure how far I'll actually go into it. Um, we'll just... We'll get over there. And drop on down onto the island. Now, there's actually a weird bug... I'm not sure. I actually replaced the map, so it may or may not still be here, but we'll check it out. So we basically just open this trap door, fall into this nice little water pit to break our fall. And as you can see, this is the little weird glitch. These wood blocks are like, com they're completely wood on all sides. So as you can see, there's no, it's not actually twisted or anything. It's or like, like placed sideways. Now with the new update, you can do that, but it's, it's really weird, and I'm not sure if it, I'm guessing it's just a download glitch, but it's really cool looking actually. And I mean, it doesn't do any other function than its normal wood, but it's it's odd. It's odd. Uh, anyway, any hoozles. There is there's the four islands, and then there's the one in the middle where you'd most likely be PVPing on. And this chest has nothing in it. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be anything in it. I I don't know, but we're gonna turn this down. This is actually quite a bit too far up anyway there's a couple animals on the island so you can get some food and the sugar cane for whatever you might need that for and then basically once you collect enough wood you can build yourself over to the middle island and I'll, I'll do that real quick and I'll be right back all right guys I've officially built to the main island here as you can see it took me quite a bit of resources and I shorted out a bunch of times so I ended up going back and forth quite a bit because it's a lot longer than it actually looks anyway we're onto the main island here and there's a couple cool features actually this is really pointless in my opinion I don't see what on earth this could be used for but in this chest there is a lava bucket some seeds and just some random mob drops that don't look too useful actually anyway there's I believe there's four diamond points. Here's one. There's one, I believe, 
over here on the corner of the map. So that one's really, I guess it's cool because you have to, you actually have to have crafted a pickaxe in order to get them. So as you can see, there's one, and I think there's a couple more. They said there's four on the main island. So there's also a lot of mobs where you can get some animal or some animals and or some what the heck am I saying? There's some, a lot of mobs where you can get lots of uh, food as well as resources, which I guess you don't really need to keep the kill the sheep because you can't sleep in beds in the first place. So anyway. We have got some pumpkins and some more resources like trees and things, and that's about it. This was going to be our main fighting area, and it's pretty small. Actually, it might have looked... I mean, it's definitely a lot bigger than those, but those are just those are just so tiny, and this is really, really small, actually, as well. So, this map, other than, you know, the size of it, it's not going to be the biggest map, but it is super-duper fun, or it looks like that. I have not actually tested it out, and over here, what's really weird is you can see... You can see the the wood is actually correct like the textures look right and then this tree is just all weirded out I don't I don't know if it's just my me not knowing about some glitch or if it's supposed to be that way I don't know but but I just I thought it was really weird anyway that has basically been the map review there's nothing much else to go over except for this four islands uh, the, the main concept is it's sky PvP four islands you're all building to the middle to get the diamonds and then fight to the death and the last one standing ends up winning it all and you guys can play it over and over again on the different types of maps so it's not all it's not all the same look all the time it's actually a really good way to mix it all up so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed link will be in the description for the link to the mcp universe with the page of this map be sure to go check it out and download and leave a like a comment and subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoyed today's video so that has been it i will see you guys in the next one